beautiful Taurus. Welcome to First Time Visions. My name is Q and I am here to do your general reading. We're going to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what is going on with the beautiful Taurus energy. Welcome if you are new. My name is Q. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will you all are beautiful, are feeling blissed, are feeling amazing. So much is going on celestially, so much is going on in the world. There are so many changes, so many shifts, and I just wanted to, you know, tap in, tune in, and see what we got coming in. Uh, we are currently dealing with a lot of celestial energy. Uh, we are dealing with the Scorpio full moon right now. It is a flower moon. Um, so I do feel like uh, perhaps there are going to be some surprises or maybe some recognition this month. Um, maybe there could even be uh, perhaps changes, transformations, endings. Uh, every ending denotes a new beginning. So you could be finding yourselves starting new projects. You could be finding yourselves relocating. Uh, maybe some of you all are, you know, channeling your inner magi, your inner alchemist, where you are manifesting something new. Um, we're going to take a peek, see what's coming in for you, beloveds. Uh, we have playing on the playlist. We have uh, Faith Evans, and this is called Love Like This. So some of you all may be for the first time uh, really feeling self-love. You know, uh, love is an inside job. So when you love yourself, I feel that makes you more attractive. So right now, Taurus, you could be seen as very attractive, very beautiful. Maybe you're seen as someone who likes the finer things in life. Maybe you are perhaps purchasing some luxury item. You know, because you are showing yourself some love, maybe for your solar return, you're treating yourself to a trip. Maybe you're going out of country. Uh, maybe you're purchasing yourself, um, you know, your home, your first home. I feel there's luxury items. I feel there's really just this uh, beautiful energy of uh, rewards and recognition, uh, some form of a wish fulfillment or an answered prayer. Uh, that's coming through for you. Uh, maybe you've asked for something for your birthday. Maybe you've been manifesting this new home and you get a call that, you know, your bid or your uh, offer was accepted and you are going to be moving into your home uh, for your solar return. Or, you know, maybe this is just a new vehicle. Maybe you've been saving up to get a brand new vehicle that you love and you're you're getting it so this is a beautiful energy that i'm feeling where there's gifts where there's you know some sort of um, you know beautiful gifts beautiful rewards it could even be like sudden wealth maybe you'll win like a scratch off ticket it really has a lot to do uh you know with spirit rewarding you it could be because it's your solar return it's your season so luck is on your side you know matters uh of the heart could also uh, be very significant during this time. So you may find yourselves either falling into a new love connection uh, or maybe there is a potential to revisit and rekindle, you know, a past love connection. But we shall see what we got. So it is now 615. That's 66. That's 12. That's 3. Uh, I said 615. Yeah, so 6-6, six, six, that's 12, that's 3. So that uh, 3 is the Empress energy. Uh, the Empress is seen as very regal, very royal. Uh, she's reached the level of self-mastery just from lessons that she's learned. So you've learned a lot. You've grown a lot even. Um, even more importantly, uh, I also feel like you've learned to set intention and to master manifest what you want so there's a strong sense of like whatever these uh luxury items these new beginnings whatever these gifts are it's like what you have asked for so you know the power of your words you know the power of your intention and your visualization and so you have channeled um your inner alchemist or your inner magi so there's a beautiful energy of um just feeling invigorated or feeling um, overjoyed, feeling elated even. Uh, so let's see what the cards have to say. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. Uh, so this is beautiful energy because the Ace of Swords is about fresh perspective, seeing things very clearly, using logic, being very logical, being very, um, being, being very much practical. Uh, 
you know, um, as well. You know, when you are looking at things uh, from a, a broader perspective or, you know, looking at things in a more strategic manner, uh, you're more privy to seeing uh seeing the whole picture uh so you're looking at things from a bird's eye view perhaps maybe this is a new idea or maybe you're working on something new maybe someone could be coming in to communicate that you have not heard from in a while uh but we are on the split we have the knight so this is the knight of cups and you have the ace of swords so you could have someone um from your past uh, that could be expressing love. This could be someone confessing because we have love like this. So someone could be saying like, look, I've never known a love like this before, Taurus. Like, you know, they could be very attracted to you, finding you to be uh, very beautiful, um, finding you to be very wise or very grounded. Maybe you ground them in some special way. I just said very beautiful and look what's playing on the playlist now. So now we have Molly music and this is uh, beautiful. So they are very attracted to you. So someone is coming to some grand epiphany that they've never had a love quite like yours before. And this is something that is, um, you know, kind of hitting them. It's something new, like they, they didn't expect it. Some of you could be from the motherland, from, you could also be from Molly, uh, but someone is offering you love. This is like coming in quickly. Uh, and I feel like maybe you're being told, um, you know to be mindful you know because you know that 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 uh knight of wands they kind of they they kind of speed it's like they they're rushing you know they rush in like without really thinking things through so this could be kind of like a flaky energy this could potentially be even someone emotionally uh intelligent uh, emotionally manipulating you and you're being told to uh to be sharp to be sharp-witted with this mask um i i am getting a sense of like spirit saying be your authentic self you know be your authentic self um you don't have to put on a facade or put on a mask for anyone uh but i also feel like this is also perhaps you know spirit just reminding you that uh don't just get excited if someone rushes in saying things that sound good uh because you know there could be a sense of emotional manipulation um, and I feel spirit wants you to really trust your intuition. I do feel there is some illumination. Uh, you may hear something. Somebody could be confessing something that they're attracted to you. Yeah, there we have the four of wands. So this could be a twin flame. So it looks like there's a twin flame that's coming in, that's coming to the realization that they love you. That four vibration is 1111. 1111 is associated with twin flame or cosmic companion. So someone is finally having some sort of epiphany. So that's what that Ace of Swords was about. Someone is finally, you know, getting some sort of illumination and clarity as to someone's feelings. And not only is it their feelings, they are ready and prepared to perhaps offer love. Uh, this is someone that feels like they can have, you know, something very stable, you know, very solid, very, very, you know, very, um, very uh, strong foundation building, a strong foundation with you. And so with this uh, temperance card, along with the four of wands, I do feel spirit is saying that good things take time to create. So Taurus, this could be a wish fulfillment because uh, I feel divine timing is of the essence with this nine of swords. Someone is going back and forth, like in their head, you know, trying to figure out how to shoot their shot. And if you look at this person up here, they look to be wearing that same mask that the ace of swords was wearing. So maybe someone was kind of like, deceiving themselves because if you look at the swords he's holding there's a sword going in the upright direction and one going in the down so it's almost like people were missing an opportunity like miscommunication perhaps you know and this was causing confusion maybe someone was stuck in two minds and that's why temperance is here because maybe there was a need uh for some balance maybe there was a need for a give me one moment sorry about that so you know there's a need for someone to kind of like get their thoughts together you know and that's what the ace of swords is about illumination um so cutting free from illusions cutting free from 
confusion. Um, maybe this was someone creating uh, that own narrative within themselves because the Nine of Swords is really like someone resting on a guilty uh, conscience. And if you look, it's like a cloud, you know, that this, this person is kind of... Um, moving in it's like he's navigating through a cloud so this could represent someone's own self-deception someone creating their own anxiety their own stress and so let's tap in and see what we got coming and going out going on that also could be someone like waking up during cold sweats like i said because they have a guilty conscience so maybe there's a confusion um so let's tap in spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful okay so we have a card that flew out on its own and i feel that's a bonus message and look at that the devil so the devil this uh, you know the mind is the devil's playground so be sure that whatever it is whatever decisions you're making that you are making it um you know uh by you know first meditating and contemplating not just taking action because if there is someone trying to manipulate your energy um i do feel like you know uh, there's a control issue. This could be someone that could be bound, that you could be feel bound to. If you look at their faces, these masculine and feminine, they're both wearing masks. And remember, the mask was standing out. So this could speak to um, illusion, someone being fake and fugazi. The devil is definitely deceptive. He's a master manipulator, and he's also controlling. And so someone could be trying to attempt... Uh, to weave you into some sort of web of lies with the what we have on uh, the bottom of the deck is justice so I feel justice will be served everything will be handled fairly and justly I also feel like whoever this devil is uh, they're going to receive karma and you can see here you know um, you know justice this justice card is depicted as you know this energy shooting a shot so I do feel like you know, whatever you're attracting to you, because that's the next card we're pulling, and what we have is justice on the bottom. I feel like whatever they did in the past is going to catch up to them. Whoever this devil is, they're going to receive karma. It's gonna they're gonna reap what they sow. Um, this is also what goes around comes around. But I also am getting a sense of like the truth coming out. So if someone was trying to be deceptive, if someone was like puppeteering. Uh, pulling strings, doing things hidden, like some hidden enemy or some hidden energy. It's like it's going to be exposed. Truth is going to come out because spirit is presenting this. What we have um, playing is we have uh, Cool in the Game, and this is called Hollywood Swinging. So with Hollywood Swinging, when I think of Hollywood, I hear Holly weird because a lot of weird-ish goes on. A lot of people speak of Illuminati, speak of um rituals and sacrifices that take place in Hollywood. And so perhaps there is something very similar and something very sinister going on, especially with this devil uh, that flew out first. So Taurus, there could be even someone at your job that's going to receive karma uh, for something that they could have done to you. Maybe someone has cost you a promotion. Or someone could have cost you a pay increase. Even if this is a supervisor uh, that was very uh, petty, jealous, uh, and they could have uh, potentially um, did something out of spite. Because there's there's some form of control. Someone feels like they're in control of another person or they're trying to control another person and keep them bound. This is someone envious. This is someone deceptive, jealous. Someone that lies, speaks with a forked tongue. But there is karma. So what you're attracting to you, who or what you're attracting to you, is you're receiving good karma. I feel this is good karma because when you are dealing with this devil energy and justice shows up, I feel like things are going to be handled fairly and justly for you, Taurus. So that could be, you know, that blessing, that reward that I was feeling. You're going to be, um, it's like you're coming out on top of a situation and we have Rolls Royce Rolls Royce and this is called wishing on a star so you're going to receive wish fulfillment maybe this is someone that was trying to potentially block your blessing block an opportunity because I was feeling like someone uh, you know tried to perhaps sabotage per maybe a promotion or maybe tried to just sabotage some movement something that you were doing something you were working on maybe they were stealing your ideas 
But this is a sneaky, sneaky energy. They were trying to weave you into a web. I feel like they just created a web of lies. Maybe they were uh, definitely trying to defamate your character. But karma is here. Karma Dharma. So let's see. What is Taurus attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beautiful Taurus energy. And happy soul return to you all. So look what we have here. We have this beautiful page of... Um, Page of Pentacles. So some new idea that you're working on. Didn't I say you had a deceptive energy? Look at the Seven of Swords. So the same mask. See that mask? And then you see that here. So there's a mask. So whoever this is wearing a mask, they're going to be exposed. Because you're not stupid. You're not stupid at all. I feel like this person is jealous. I feel like whatever they're doing, they're very jealous. They're jealous of um, the fact that you're in control. You're a boss. You're a leader. Um, you know, because that lion, you know, when you think of a lion, um, you know, that represents strength, that represents pride, um, that represents courage, you know. And so this is someone who is cowardly and very deceptive. So they do things and they try to insult your intelligence, you know. So this, whoever this is, they think they're smarter than they are. But what you think is going to happen to this monkey when he turns... You know, when he tries to get away because he's he thinks he's duping this line, but the line clearly sees that something's wrong with this picture. He's trying to get a drink of water. So some of you all um, use your intuition. Water is very uh, symbolic of intuition. Um, it's also about cleansing yourself. So perhaps some of you may have someone uh, that you need to cut free from. Because this is someone that has a sick attachment or could be codependent or they leech off of you. Uh, if this is a job, I feel like maybe some of you all have deceived yourselves uh, long enough to think that you needed this job. Even though it could have been a toxic work environment, even if it wasn't toxic. Maybe you realized you lied to yourself in terms of um, you know, what, you, what you can do, what you were capable of. And with all these people here in the background... I do feel like there's a sense of like a lot of people being in on whatever this trick is. So if this are this if this is your colleagues or coworkers, uh, you know a lot of people are potentially jealous uh, because the lion is you know that that is a very boss energy. As I said, you know you're embodying um, that energy of leadership. So that means that you know who you are. You're very sure very determined, very willful. And there could be a lot of people jealous um, when you're in that energy of, you know, knowing thyself. And so what we see here, what else flew out for what you're attracting to you is unburdening yourself. See the wisdom that you have been able to obtain. The owls denote wisdom, wise dome. And the same monkey, it's like you have outsmarted that same monkey that's sitting here, uh, you know, taking that drink of water. So it's, this is about like really confronting your fears and relieving yourself of the burdens of trying to fit in, trying to, um, you know, trying to go along to get along. You know, when, when something does not fit right in your spirit, you're very, um, it's important for you to trust what you feel. Because your gumption and your gut instinct is, you know, that stomach, that solar plexus acts like a second brain. So it's important for you to trust your instincts, trust your intuition. So what you are attracting to you is, you know, whatever this is, this deception is, this lie. I feel like you are finally making the decision to leave it behind. You're unburdening yourself because you see something for what it is. Owls, they have uh, an ability to see perfectly at night. So it's like you're seeing through the illusion. You're seeing through the lies. And you're cutting yourself free. And 10 is an ending. So it's the end of carrying burdens, carrying other people's problems, even carrying on this facade, carrying on this, 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 this um, act as if you are... Um, you know, carrying on an act. I feel more so an act because when you look at this, this monkey is putting on an act. But he's being deceptive. And look how confused, you know, this lion is looking at this monkey. Like, does he really think that he's pulling this this, 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 this shenanigan over, over on me? Like, he's confused at the audacity of this monkey to think he's wise enough to trick him. And so look what happens, unburdening yourself, like relieving yourself from something that was definitely, it almost kept you feeling like 
um, imprisoned, whatever this was. But I feel like, you know, that 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 cycle is coming to a close because tens are all, always about endings. And what we have here uh, is the six of pentacles. So now spirit, I feel, is um, showing you just what the illusion was. Uh, you may have had someone who could have been breadcrumbing you. Uh, you may have had someone kind of like, you know, had other options, had other people. And so, you know, whenever you required attention or whenever it was time for uh, appreciation to be shown to you, it was like this person definitely, um, they, they, they were playing games, head games. And this was really to make you start questioning yourself or to help, you know, to, to kind of make you feel insecure. So it was a lot of duping, a lot of mind upping, a lot of games, because that's literally what this devil does. You know, it's, it's, he's, he's a tricknologist, he's a decepticon. And so you, you really have to look at yourself after you deal with that energy, because there's a lot that you could be carrying that doesn't belong to you, which is why this, want, this 10 of wands is here. You could be carrying other people's burdens, other people's, uh, you know, faulty belief systems and ideologies, and that's not even your burden to bear. And when you come to this realization, that's why the owls here. That's when you say, okay, now you release yourself and you you embark upon some new beginning. With this Ace of Cups, this shows the healing. So the aces always show me. You had two aces, you had the Ace of Swords. So this Ace is showing that spirit is stepping into the picture to bless you with uh, fresh perspectives, to see things for what they truly are, but also healing. This is a deep healing, a deep cleansing. Um, it also is speaking to perhaps spiritual baths that are necessary. So let's see, how does this person feel about our beloved Taurus? Let me get a message of peace, sound protection. How or what does um, what Taurus is attracting to them feel about them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So what is this energy? Thank you, spirit. Got a lot of messages. So see that confusion, that nine of swords. This is like, you know, kind of stuck at a fork in a row, thinking, uh, you know, having conflicts of some sort. So we have the seven of pentacles here. So seven of pentacles is feeling like you put a lot of time and energy into something and not being able to reap what you um, have sown, not being able to reap the benefits or to see the rewards. This is like exhaustion even. You know, feeling like, you know, how they feel about you. Because there's a, there's like um, a skeleton running with this person. And then there's this depiction of a person like kind of here. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's almost like, you know, feeling unfulfilled. I just get unfulfillment from this. Hey, Katara, you want to come and lay in grandma's lap? So there's unfulfillment. How they feel about you is they feel like maybe, you know, um, not really getting what they anticipated from something. They're very attracted to you. The Queen of Wands is here. Some of you could be dealing with, you know, um, Aries, Leo, a Sag. But I do feel attraction, beauty. You know, there's a snake that's wound around the staff. And staffs are indicative of, you know, it can be used as an instrument um, during rituals, during spells, uh, utilizing your power your magic to manifest something new. There's also this black cat. So trusting your intuition. Someone sees you as very much um, a master manifester, very powerful, and also very in tune, very tapped in. This could be someone that loves you. And we have Lauren Hill, the sweetest thing playing. So someone feels, you know, these very sweet emotions with the sweetest thing. You may have somebody that definitely, um, maybe they're obsessed. You know, maybe they're possessive over you. Maybe they lust after you. Maybe someone was in, in, in a toxic entanglement or in a toxic relationship. And so they are trying to find them, their way back to you. Maybe this is that person and they feel they have some sort of unfinished business. If you look, this, this person seems to be wearing the same clothing as this queen. This person that's laying here. So it's like this person is now looking at you as the one that got away. Or maybe they look in like, you know, whatever, whoever they was running with, whoever they ran to, it was, it was, um, it led to, it was unf like, you know, they were unfulfilled, whatever that was. My cat is staring at me right in my face. Are you trying to tell me you're hungry? I know you're hungry. It's, it's lunchtime. 
And so we have this um, Knight of Swords. So there's, there's definitely, I feel like they feel you're guarded. Because if you look at this uh, Knight of Swords here, it's like he has this big shield in front of him. So perhaps this is someone, you know, that feels like you're now um, speaking your truth. You're not afraid to cut what doesn't serve you anymore. You're no longer afraid of cutting yourself free from people, places, and things because you know your worth. You know who you are. You have a sense of self-awareness. You've also changed. This is like a major change that you have made as of recent. If you look at that snake, snakes represent not just like sneaky, snaky energy, but it also represents change because snakes are indicative of, you know, like they shed their skin. So there's uh, a transformation that takes place. It's like a renewal, if you will. And so this is showing that this is who you have evolved into. As I said, she's holding the staff. So that staff is showing that that is what she's manifesting in some sort of change, some sort of shift. And she's anticipating something coming. Even the cat is sensing it's coming. Remember, cats are impervious to threat. Cats are also very intuitive. So it's about trusting your intuition because maybe there's communication coming. He's holding this bullhorn. And if you look, that looks to be like a bull, you know, looks to be a bull. And that is your sign, a bull. So I feel there's some news. Like they feel like you found your voice. They also there's 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 some truths coming. There's there's someone expressing something. Um with what's hidden in the energy with the two swords, this is about a decision. So when this communication comes in, you're gonna have to take um you're gonna have to make a decision. I do feel, especially with these other people here, maybe you have angels, ancestors, you know, that could be, you know, kind of aligning you with your divine purpose divine passion maybe they're the ones responsible for blessing you with some sort of reward or some sort of gift some sort of blessing and this news is coming and you can anticipate it because it's something you've manifested and there goes the two of swords i told y'all when i kept seeing those two swords going in different directions see that this is like a decision this is like and you see how this person is like shooting down this plane so there could be some some incoming news, you know, there could be some incoming news. And with this this person like shooting down the plane, um, maybe this is, again, that devil, you know, trying to mess with your mind, you know, mind, uckery, confuse, causing the confusion because the mind is the devil's playground. And when you have that all of that, that confusion, you know, maybe even if you're not able to discern what someone is saying or perceive what someone is saying. It's because someone could be manipulating that energy. And whoever this is, um, we got Jill Scott one time. So I feel like Spirit is saying this person only deserved one time. So don't give them another chance. Because they, they this is why they're coming back. And, and, and I see a plane. So planes fly. So it's like this person may see you flying high. You know, this person may also be at a distance. But it's like this person really is trying to... You know, kind of, um, it's like they, they're kind of you, trying to usurp your power or trying to, trying to somehow shoot down your dreams, cause confusion. This is a manipulator because that one, one time with one, I'm getting the, you know, the magician. So spirit is telling you, um, that you are the magician and you can manifest what you desire. So your your thoughts are, they become reality. So mind your thoughts. And there goes this high priestess number two. So you could be dealing with someone definitely manipulative. Especially with that seven of swords. And then we got this ten of swords here. So this is what's hidden in the energy. Is I'm strongly getting a sense of like, you know, um, b betrayal, deception. Uh, there goes the bull that I was seeing. So I feel like you getting out of some sort of situation. If you see that the bull is one of the first animals that come out of this, you know, big old monster alligator or whatever. That bull. So you're free. It's like spirit is, uh, is definitely protecting you and freeing you. I feel like you're also in tune. You're in tune. You're tapped in. It's like you're going to make the right decision. And if you look here... Um, you know, there's a person that's kind of helping someone who's wounded. So if you have gone through, you know, some sort of betrayal or deception, it's like 
your angels are the one that have um, helped you to recover or to get out of a situation with this devil, with this energy that was trying to uh, deceive you. You can see they were trying to eat all these animal totems, all of these, you know, divine energies, but people were freed. So spirit is freeing you uh, from a situation. That ten of swords reduced to the one, the ace, which is what we saw. So it's like you can see things clearly now. So you're tuned in, tapped in, you're trusting your intuition. Now you are, maybe these experiences have led to you um, discovering your mission, your path, your purpose. Um, also uncovering what your gifts are, what your skill sets are, what you, what you are meant to do. So let's tap in. What is the outcome for my beautiful Taurus? And there was a beautiful card that flew out. And we have the Eight of Wands. So this is speaking to something coming in... Um, you know, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And so we have the Five of Cups. So there's someone who does have regrets. I feel like it's that same monster, you know, the same energy. You see, he, he done, you know, ate up all these people, but you were one of the first to be released, to be let free. So someone has regrets, I feel, for the way that they've treated you. You know, they're, they're like literally suffering in silence or maybe there was um, analysis paralysis or maybe there's just, like I said, a lot of regrets, remorse for what they've done because I feel like you're having some sort of victory. You can see um, this person is like stabbing this monster. So it's like you are um, defending yourself, standing your ground. You've learned to do that. That five is associated with like the hierophant even though it's the five of cups um i'm just getting the hierophant like you've learned something you've matured you've learned to face your fears more importantly and when you face your fears i feel like that's when you know uh there's movement there's wish fulfillments answers to your prayer there's action that could be taken something unexpected there goes the chariot so that's beautiful so i was saying action that could be taken because you're now balanced so if you look there, there's a tornado. So it's almost like I said, with that unexpected, it's like something is coming unexpectedly. But this is in the form of like wish fulfillment. There goes the bulls. There goes the bulls again. Chariots are usually depicted as horses. On this card, this is the bull. So this is spirit saying that there's a yes answer. You are asserting yourself confidently and you're moving towards uh, greater pastures is what I'm hearing. So something is positively moving in your favor and it's because you have found balance within yourself. Whatever, whomever that was that was causing confusion, that was creating little um, storms in your life or drama. It's like you've discovered who that was and now you're, you're leaving that situation behind. It's like you're taking action and you're moving on. So this is beautiful, Taurus. So you are definitely um, definitely in equilibrium, mind, body, and soul, spiritually. Definitely spiritually strong. But I also get a sense of you being more assertive, more confident in this, this junction of your life. And for that, you will be rewarded. That's why this Ace of Wands is here, Eight of Wands is here. Because I get a sense of you getting good news or there being some sort of... Um, something unexpected coming in and i feel like it's going to uh turn things around for you and there's yet um it's yet to be discovered but i feel like you will absolutely um take charge take lead and take action accordingly so that's beautiful so this is your reading, my beautiful Taurus. Happy solar return to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Hit the bell notification. And definitely hit the subscribe if you feel so inclined. To anyone that is returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, Ashe. Peace.